The first law of thermodynamics is generally referred to as the law of conservation of energy, which means that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but it can change forms. It can also be stated that the total amount of energy in a closed system remains constant. There are several ways in which the first law of thermodynamics can be expressed mathematically. The most general expression of the first law would be that the sum of all changes in energy equals zero. The simplest possible expression of this is that the change in energy form 1 plus the change in fo energy form 2 equals zero. In dealing with heat and work, the formula is the change in internal energy equals the heat added to the system minus the work done by the system. In a gravitational field, it is the change in potential energy plus the change in kinetic energy equals zero. In this illustration, the red circles represent energy. Note that you can move the energy around all you want, but the total amount remains the same. The same thing goes for actual energy. You can move it around, change its form, but the amount remains the same. The significance of the first law is that the total amount of energy in the universe is constant, so it is impossible to get more energy out of the system than is put into it. Simply put, you can't get energy from nothing. Furthermore, any system that puts out more energy than is put into it from any source is impossible. To be possible, a system must get energy from someplace, even if it is not obvious. This does not mean that you can't get more energy out of a system than you put into it. In classical thermodynamics, free energy is the energy in a system available to do work. However, this is not what this section is about. In this section, free energy refers to a group of devices alleged to put out more energy than the user puts into it. So the question is, does free energy violate the first law of thermodynamics? The answer is no, as long as the free energy device gets energy from someplace. Now it needs to be noted that there are recognized devices that technically qualify as free energy. These include solar cells that get their energy from sunlight. Now, most alleged free energy devices seek to tap the universe's zero-point energy. While it may be debatable as to whether or not zero-point energy can be tapped, it does not, in principle, violate the first law of thermodynamics. In conclusion, the first law of thermodynamics simply says that the amount of energy in a closed system remains constant, regardless of how it is changed or moved around. To add energy to a system, it needs to come from someplace else.